Welcome back to Open Ranks. We're here with Gunnery Sergeant Quintana from Supply. She's here to share her views on the Marine Corps' policy on tattoos and female Marines in combat. Let's hear what she has to say. So how do you feel um, about the whole females in combat situation? It should be an option for everyone. I think that this is an individual-based, um, I want to say, decision. I definitely feel like female Marines should be in infantry if that's what they want to do. They should be able to have that option. Again, I, like I think other countries already have that stuff integrated um, and, and they, they do great. Um, so uh, I feel like that is just uh, going to be something that's going to come here soon. I mean, women never been infantry men, but they've done infantry things. So I think we're very much capable. There's many female Marines out there that could do it now. Do you think that maybe that it's too early as an E4 to be an NCO, or maybe too late as far as the Air Force to wait until E6 to be an NCO? That's a pretty good question. Um, E4, I could tell you this much, when I was a Lance Corporal, I could not wait to be a Corporal because I felt like the Corporals ran the Marine Corps when I, when I was coming up. So I felt like once I hit the E4, I was on autopilot. Um, I think it's, uh, the reason why we are the Marine Corps is because we have expectations that are outrageous for someone who thinks that they can never achieve it. But when they achieve it at such a young age, I think that that's the reason why we're, we, we are so important to, to the United States. With the current service limitations for sergeants right now being 10 years, uh, how, how do you feel about that? How, how do you feel that um, a good sergeant is going to have to serve up to 10 years and they force him out. How do you feel about that? You say good sergeants that are getting pushed out at 10 years. Uh, I know that's it's a tough one because I, I've seen a lot of great Marines get pushed out. I guess you can use that terminology pushed out. Um, but it's your career and I feel like you know once you get to that sergeant level you have corporals and lands corporals below you. I mean you should be ready for what your career needs to do and if the Marine Corps says hey you have to pick up staff sergeant in a certain amount of time um, you should already be there. Or how do you feel about the tattoo policy in the Marine Corps? I have tattoos um, however I feel that there is still a certain professionalism that Marines have to keep so I do feel like Having tattoos on your fingers, your neck, your head um, does, does discredit you as a professional. You can also stay up to date on all the training and events going on around the MLG by following us on Facebook.